All right, real estate, Remax, that's what she does. And she, of course, is Lisa Mendocino. And I thought being to you here tonight, we'd take a little time to talk about the real estate market that is exploding in a good way here in Beaver County. Can't find me a place to rent. You can't find me a house because they're all sold or they're all rented out. It's a busy time in Beaver County, it's right? very busy. And um, most of that is, as far as the rentals, is because of the shell at the plant. Um, these are the temporary workers until the plant is built and they're coming in by the thousands every quarter. Listen, I see a commercial piece of property you have right now, the old public drugs on Adam Street in Rochester. That's that's you. And the young Republicans are actually renting that space. And you also have a nice track of land at the end of the Crows Run reconstruction that that road is now open straight to Cranberry. So if somebody is looking for some nice property, especially that one on Ohio River Boulevard, it's Remax. Nice yeah, so man, you're doing everything. You know what, that's true. You know, most agents, they say to kind of pigeonhole into just residential or commercial or leases, but I'm all over the board and it's working. You happy with what's transpiring here in new home construction too? A lot of subdivisions, a lot of good things happening, or do you still think there's gonna be more to come? Um, well, there's a lot going on. I just worry about um, handling, you know, if we can handle it with the infrastructure. Do we have enough, um, like the hotels? Yeah. No, we never had one in the county. Other we now have seven on the Manaka. Three on every corner. Right. And they're totally full. That's good for business, right? It's great for business. Well, they don't want to stay in the hotels. What about interest rates? And we'll let you go. Good time? Um, yeah, interest rates are still low. I thought they would be creeping up a little more than they have, but they're hovering around four, four and a half. Um, which is still all-time low. Okay, you're really here for your wonderful friend, Dee Dixon, worked as your assistant for a while, and now she's ready to soar as recorder of Dee's. Tell me about her, we'll say goodbye. Um, I met Dee, um, actually showing them a home in the Center Township area. We got to talking, um, thought she was a great person. Uh, she had a great work ethic. She was pleasant, she was intelligent. Um, hard -working. Motivated, hard working. Yep, and she was working on getting her license, and I thought she was going to go with another company. And when we finished, she said, "Oh no, I'm staying." All right, here's the here's the question. I, I work for free, but did you bring many of your world famous meatballs or sauce or anything? Oh, they're in the car. How did you know? <laughs> Works every time. The best lover and a family, Lisa Mendocino, folks. Stay with us, Luke Baradelli. Next up.